Hello again, and in this video I want to answer to the question why do not use uh, native spine runtimes in the Unity 3D. So I have a model in a spine with a set of animation, idle animation, walking, jumping, punch and so on. So after that I exported this data to the JSON file with the atlas and an atlas metadata and uh, it's quite easiest uh, than with native runtimes to create a model just click to the spine build prefab choose uh, this option how many pixels per unit build avatar or update resources I will explain this parameter in the uh, next video. So just generate data and we have a prefab with all of this animation in this folder. Just wait a couple of seconds. Maybe more and more. Okay. So now we have a prefab and if we will drag to the scene it will be already here and we can check that all animation should work hmm, different errors ah because it's a, not an animation just pause ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. and also we have a native things like we can check animation here with different speeds But this is not just a reason to use this plugin because my thing is uh, create a controller which will switch this animation. Example, how to switch from uh, walking to the running and so on. I already have uh, this controller which has uh, maybe 100 rows and here I have a different setting like a jump force, running jump force and in uh, update update methods I'm looking for the input parameters and depends on the jump or roll I trigger a different trigger in an uh, animator so let's switch to the scene where I already have this model with this controller so this is how it looks like and uh, this is a controller so uh, I don't know what's this <laughs> ta -da, ta -da. no <laughs> some unity bugs <laughs> Okay, I have a different states uh, in uh, my state machine is uh, idle, walking, jumping. Walking has a blend tree, and here I use. Um, what the fuck? Sorry. Okay. So here I use uh, two animation. First is a walking, second is walking as well, but they have a different speeds. So if you will check that for small amount of speed we will use uh, slow animation, but for normal is walking and then running. So let me show you how it looks in, in the scene. Ah, sorry, I forgot. In the uh, controller we just pass one variable. What is uh, it should be something like velocity here is a mic it's parameter from 0 to 2 and depends on this parameter uh, we have a different animation and different spin of our character so here we can see I will use my Xbox pad and you see now we go slowly and we will go with normal speed and if we will run 
Let's blend with a different animation. Then the same situation with the state when the characters in the air. If you go, if we have a positive vertical velocity, we have one animation. If we fall down, we have another animation, and we don't. In, and we just need to pass one parameter, which is a vertical speed. We can find here. And also in this complex jumping, I have a different state. I jump prepare, then jump begin and switch to another state, and this is a jump from the idle state. You see, it's very different. Next interesting thing is about uh, punches. I have a left and right jump and uppercut so what we what we pass is just a fire button in a controller here we pass just a trigger fire one and how it looks in a state machine Here we define that if fire one is triggered to run this animation. But if we have another road with the same parameter, so if we will click simultaneously, we will have a combo. It's quite easy. Just 100 rows of code, and we have this controller. And about uh, forward row is another state it's not ready yet but work as well and another feature is uh, different layers oh sorry uh, let me remember what I did Ah, I have another animation and let's make it right now. It's a throwing animation and it's uh, fired by fire tree trigger. So, how it looks like? We create a new layer, we define a new mask with the cut given upper body, and this mask is defined which uh, game objects here will be animated. And here I switch it off uh, legs and so on and just leave it uh, switch it on upper body and okay now we have a oh, where is this ah yeah okay let's define the new state empty state because each layer should have a default state and then from any state we can throw we can fire throw animation so let's do that fire 3 and after that we will go to default state by timeout I think yeah okay and now we already have throw animation it's, it doesn't look nice. You can check these blends here. Okay. That doesn't work. Oh, it works. And now, if you will go, we can throw. If you will jump, we can throw. From any state, just upper parts of our character will be animated by throw animation hmm. I don't remember how to adjust that hmm. maybe I will show you that <laughs> how to make a nice uh, animation later <laughs> for today I think it's enough thank you and goodbye